Hi guys, today we are going to show you the Nokia 3 review. We gave the Nokia 3 every chance to impress us, sadly, without much success. To HMD's credit, the entry-level device is surprisingly well equipped to handle a connected lifestyle in 2017. There are plenty of little details, here and there, that offer some added value, but the Nokia 3 simply fails to deliver a solid overall smartphone experience. Let's begin. But first like and subscribe, don't forget press the notification bell, to never miss an update. Good looks, solid build quality. Screen promises Gorilla Glass finish, but feels a bit plasticky. Metal frame is a nice touch, so is the dedicated Micrist card slot. The non-removable back cover seems like a missed opportunity to bring back the interchangeable backs from the past in the smartphone era. The display is plenty bright and with decent sunlight legibility, on par with other budget devices. Color accuracy is poor, but that is expected in this price range. The 720p resolution, however, is decently sharp on the 5-inch diagonal. Battery life is quite disappointing at 53 hours of total endurance rating. Poor software optimization could be to blame, but the small 2650 mAh battery doesn't help either. OS in near stock Android with a nice Nokia blue skin on top. It lacks any customizability and the UI often stutters even with casual loads. The Nokia 3 doesn't take full advantage of the MTK6737 chipset, which isn't all that powerful to begin with. Software updates might fix some bottlenecks. The Mali T720 MP1 only has a single graphics processing core and really struggles with most graphics tasks, even at 720p resolution. The single bottom firing loudspeaker is really loud and seems to favor higher pitch sounds. Audio quality on the Nokia 3 is decent, nothing really impressive, but it will get the job done. The 8MP main camera has autofocus issues and produces very soft photos. HDR seems to help a bit with finer detail, but leads to oversharpening. Spot exposure metering is very inconsistent and overly sensitive. Having autofocus on the front camera is great on paper, but the selfie cam often misses focus and is stubborn about it. Results are also inconsistent. Video recording is only limited to 720p and saves files in the antiquated 3GP format. Video frame rates are also inconsistent from time to time. That's it.